Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about the best tools in Prisma 3D's third series. Okay, let's start. Pivot. The pivot point is the spot around which an object rotates, scales, or moves dot by default. It's usually in the center of the object, but sometimes you may want it somewhere else. For example, if you have a door model, you'd move the pivot to one side the hinge so the door rotates correctly. If you're animating a wheel, you'd place the pivot at the wheel's center, so it spins naturally. Physics That option is used to apply physics simulation to your objects so they can behave more realistically when animated. If you make a ball and enable physics plus gravity, it will fall onto the floor plane. If you're animating a wheel, you place the pivot at the wheel's center, so it spins naturally. And I already uploaded the tutorial video of Prisma 3D's physics simulation. Detach. The detach tool is used to separate a selected part of a mesh into a new object. Example uses. If you have a cube and select one face, then click detach, that face becomes its own object separate from the cube. You can then move, scale, rotate, or apply different materials to it independently. Pre-made animations, walking, jogging, sidewalk, waving, fall on knees, etc. gives these are pre-made animations you can apply to your character instantly. Green download arrow gives means the animation is available, but you need to download it first before applying. Pro label gives these animations are only available in the pro version of Prisma 3D paid upgrade. Keyframe interpolation options. These control how the animation moves between keyframes. Ease in, out start slow gives speeds up gives slows down at the end, looks smooth and natural. Linear moves at a constant speed from one keyframe to the next dot no acceleration or deceleration. Constant no transition, it snaps instantly to the next keyframe. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.